Hi, I'm Ian Nethercott, Supply Chain Director at ProBrand. So back this week, um, this video is a bit of a tech briefing. It's in partnership with Kingston Technology. They are the world's largest independent manufacturer of memory products. Um, and also with Sims International, who are our primary distributor uh, for storage and memory uh, as well, namely uh, Kingston. Um, so uh, I'm going to talk about a few areas actually. Uh, one is SSD. Um, secondly, uh, server memory, and then also followed up by a few general supply chain updates uh, in the world of Kingston as well. So let's get into it. So we're going to start with SSD. Um, so uh, this is really a bit of a follow-up, I guess, from the video I did probably a couple of months ago now. Um, so I, I spoke a lot around the, the whole explosion in the world of SSD, um, but uh, it's, it's some good news there now that there, uh, there has been a, a call off between uh, Japan and South Korea in the trade restrictions and the war that's been going on between them. Um, so uh, that's now uh, improving already, which is really, really good news. Um, the demand out there actually is not huge right now at the moment for SSD, so uh, it means that, um, that prices have been very stable and actually uh, declining back down as well. So. Um, so, so definitely really a good time to uh, look at the market now if you're uh, looking for procuring any SSD drives. Uh, now might be a really good time to buy as, as price have fell back down. Um, a couple of new release updates as well. So uh, there's a new data center drive which is the DC450R uh, which has a read centric design um, for performance, um, have very kind of high read uh, sort of applications. Um, and finally there's been a new release of the KC600 uh, business drive which is replacing the SUV 500 range which is uh, one of the very common uh, ranges as well so we'll put both links uh, below as well to download the the details and spec sheets of those so so look out for that Okay, so now I'll talk about the server memory market at the moment for Kingston. So uh, there are some new speeds that's entered the market as well at the moment. So that's um, 2,933 megahertz and 3,200 uh, megahertz modules. Um, there is also a larger dim capacity with 128 gig QLR modules as well, which now increases the amount of terabytes uh, of memory a server can hold. Um, so a couple of things there for the technical people out there to be aware of. Um, and then finally, I wanted to say as well, um, for you buyers is that uh, the, the, the server memory market is more of a, a margin rich product so if you have volumes of server memory that you're looking for um, you definitely want to be questioning your uh, suppliers about that because there's a very good chance you'll be able to negotiate or you, you certainly should be able to negotiate a better price um, on volumes of server memory so Kingston will definitely support that uh, when you have volume so, so definitely start to ask the question uh, with your suppliers as well on that. Finally, I wanted to cover off on a um, few general supply chain updates for Kingston as well. Um, so pricing has come down in general across the board on uh, most of Kingston's range now. Uh, the, and that's really because the pound has strengthened against the dollar more recently, so the rates are a little bit better at the moment, which is great news for us in the UK. Um, so, um, so a very good time now to be looking to buy memory as, as, the, uh, as the price have come down. Um, DDR4 notebook and desktop memory um, is very, very high stock very healthy stocks in the supply chain at the moment uh, which that only means one thing that they want to clear some of those stocks down so again another reason to be uh, pushing for better pricing um, but it's it's a it's a point I want to make across the board with Kingston as well so they will do supported uh, special bid kind of pricing as well for volumes of, uh, of really any of the products within their range so uh, definitely make sure you ask your supplier if you're buying volumes uh, always push for that better price because Kingston in the background will uh, support it as well um, so so the final couple of things I wanted to mention is uh, Kingston have a compatibility guarantee uh, in their online configurator as well. Uh, we will put the link for the configurator below uh, this video as well. Um, but uh, So it means if you go and use their configurator, uh, you, you find the memory that you need. Uh, if you go to put it in your, your desktop or server and it doesn't work or doesn't fit, uh, then Kingston will have no problem in, uh, in, in replacing or refunding that as well. So it's a, it's a guarantee that Kingston hold when using their uh, online configurator so so make sure you check out the link below for that um, and in general Kingston are really really keen at the moment to engage with uh, with you as customers out there um, so if you're looking to um, upgrade your uh, your your memory your SSD and any of your uh, client compute products or your server your data centers um, Kingston will be really happy to come out and see you to discuss your project um, and what you need and, and offer you the right products for your solutions as well so definitely make sure that you push your suppliers to to get you to engage with 
Kingston as well because they'll, they'll definitely do that. So, uh, But that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more insider information. Uh, remember to send any questions to askian at probrand.co.uk. But until next time, keep haggling.